brothers and sisters in Christ, a friend of mine from primary school was a great soccer talent. His skills were very quickly recognized by the local club. Unfortunately, as a teenager, he was spending more and more time with the wrong crowd and drank a lot of alcohol. He became addicted to it and completely ruined his promising career. God has entrusted us with many beautiful things on earth. We have been granted different talents and we are invited to develop them. What is your main gift in life? We were granted many spiritual gifts too. Do you recognize them? How do you serve God and others with those gifts? We are called to produce good fruits for God's glory and for the benefit of our neighbors during our life. In today's Gospel, Jesus tells us a story about a landowner who planted a vineyard and leased it to tenants. At the time of harvest, he sent his servants to collect the produce. Unfortunately, they were beaten and even killed by the tenants. They didn't even respect the owner's son whom they killed as well. Jesus' listeners would have understood that the landowner represented God, the creator of the vineyard, which was symbolic of their lives and the world he has entrusted to them. The tenant farmers symbolized the people of Israel, chosen to cultivate the vineyard and bear fruit. The servants sent by the landowner represented the prophets whom God sent to remind the people of their covenant responsibilities. However, Jewish leaders were unable to take care of God's vineyard, refusing to listen to the prophets. Consequently, the vineyard of the kingdom of God was taken from them and offered to Christ's disciples. My dear friends, each one of us is called to cultivate a small piece of God's vineyard. It's not that hard. In today's second reading, St. Paul urges us not to be anxious in that task. We just need to obey God's will and do our best, working with dedication and enthusiasm to take care of our Christian life and to produce good fruits. We need to fill our minds with everything that is true, everything that is noble, everything that is good and pure, everything that we love and honor, and everything that can be thought virtuous or worthy of praise. I invite you to make a good examination of your conscience today to see what kind of fruit you produce. Be honest with yourself and try to see even the rotten fruits. Have courage to discard them and move on. Brothers and sisters, let's decide to be hard-working Christians who are peacemakers in our families and local communities. Let us recognize Jesus as the cornerstone of our lives and take care of God's vineyard of our hearts. If we do that with faith, we'll be approaching harvest time with no fear and no regrets. <laughs>